the front of your gun because yep. you're going to need it. Yeah, this is super cool. As soon as I saw this thing, uh, you know, the social screen that feeds off the PSVR, I said, wow, this looks this looks good. Like, I need to jump in here. And uh, there's a, a great co-op feature yeah. as well. You can play online multiplayer co-op up to two players. Tell me a little bit about how that works. Yeah, so we have full body avatars in the game. So one of the awesome things about the game is when you jump in with people, you're going to see them there. You're going to see their avatar. So you get a real sense of camaraderie in the game when you play co-op. And you're going to need each other. So we give you this ability called a tether, where you can tether to other players, give them damage boosts and buffs. And you can also tether to enemies and slam them into the environment. Nice. So there are classes in this game, correct? Yeah, there's Tell us about four them. classes. So we have four different classes. They all have a, a lot of special abilities and attacks, including the tether. They have a surge attack. We have a striker class, DPS. We have a tank uh, called the warden. We have an engineer, really cool class that does a bunch of chain lightning damage. And then we have our surgeon, which is a combat medic. Super cool. And, and, and the way these characters can kind of interact with each other, I think, makes it you know, just a much deeper experience. You really kind of have to work together. Now tell me a bit about, um, we're seeing some of this now, I played this exact sequence. There's almost a little bit of a bullet hell or a yeah. classic arcade shmup feel to some of these enemies. That's right. So we wanted, uh, you know, we're looking for this kind of intense experience and the arcade. So you've got a bit of Galaga in there. You've got the enemies flying around. You're trying to take them out. It's, um, it's, really intense and there's a lot of firepower coming at you. So you're definitely going to feel it in there. It's, it's not going to be an easy ride for anyone. <laughs> Looks great. So what inspired this project? Oh, so we've been working in VR for about three years now. One of the things that we really liked was we wanted to make the game that we thought we wanted to see in VR. So we wanted to team up. We wanted to have full locomotion moving around. And we wanted to create that really awesome, intense FPS experience. So the team was really passionate about that. We're big fans of Doom and Borderlands. And we wanted to make a, a team-based game where you're really, really impactful, really memorable for you when you go in and out. What is the uh, scope of the environments and the levels that we're dealing with here? So they're pretty um, large maps, and you're having a lot of opportunity to explore those maps while also taking a lot of firepower and a lot of damage. One of the cool things about it is you can do destruction on the environment, so some things will sort of crumble around you. And in fact, a lot of your cover may crumble. So the enemies, because they're pretty smart, they're going to take out your cover as well, forcing you to evade and dodge attacks. That's sort of the name of the game. Nice. One of the things I really liked when I played this game was um, it's, it's always very hard to convey this when it's a VR title and it's on just sort of a 2D video. But yeah. the feeling of, uh, well, you know, Justin Massengale and I, we played this together and we were, uh, we were in the same room. It was networked together. And you, you really got a feeling that, you know, Justin was right next to you as you played, you know? Right. And just the movements and the way it tracks it with the uh, PlayStation VR aim controller, yeah. definitely point out this is a great use of that one. Uh, that's the uh, the the peripheral that was you know is is used in Firewall Zero Hour, which that's is coming right. up really soon. It was popularized in um, Farpoint. Farpoint. Farpoint that's, that's right. Yeah. Um, and so it it adds a lot to this game, but you can still play with DualShock if you want to. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Um, but the, the the aim controller really brings sort of the ultimate sci-fi fantasy to yeah. life. You feel totally immersed in it, and even just thinking of it now, I'm like, oh, it's so rad. Yep. Um, so it gives you that feeling of, it, I'm holding a gun, I'm in this environment, and there's really nothing like it. It's so immersive. And we really loved you know, creating the mechanics and, and really looking at that controller and building the, the kind of gun we wanted for that for that weapon. And it's it's wonderful. It's super rad. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Well, thank you so much for coming and showing Thank you, Ramon. Really appreciate it. Cheers. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks That's for checking Evasion. It out. And when's it coming out? It's coming out in the fall of 2018. Great. So not too much longer. Yeah. Looking forward to it. I had Teams a ton of fun with it. working so hard in Vancouver. <laughs> well, uh, it's uh, a lot of fun. So keep up the good work, I'd say. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was Evasion.